Hey there, Facebook. It is Monday, about 1.40. I want to do a quick uh, check-in here, because I know at 2 o'clock everyone will tune in to see Wine with the Wine, uh, to see our governor's updates um, on where we are with uh, COVID-19 and the coronavirus. So for us in the office here, we are remaining closed for the governor's orders, except for patients who are um, post-op needs um, and skin cancer patients. We still want to be able to see you. Uh, so I did get a question um, last week about how, melanoma. Can we talk about melanoma? Can we talk about skin cancer? And uh, what you should be looking for to know when you should call your doctor. So I want to talk about that a little bit um, because obviously there are certain skin cancers that we don't want to wait on. Um, our office is, as of now, we're remaining closed through May 1st following Governor DeWine's orders. Um, for new patients, new consults, um, or the routine things that we don't need to see you for. If there is something we need to see you though, don't hesitate to call, to email, and, and uh, contact me directly, doctor at ohioplastic.com for whatever questions you have. Leave a message on the voicemail here in the office. We will check that daily um, and be able to review that. But in the meantime, let's talk about uh, the ABCs, right? Because that's the most important thing uh, not the alphabet, although now that you're all, a lot of you I'm sure are doing homeschooling with your kids, you've probably been working on that. Uh, but let's talk about the ABCs of melanoma. So how do you know what mole, if you've got a spot, a little brown spot here, or, or something that you look at and are concerned with, how do you know what's the thing you want to call your doctor about? How do you know what's the thing that you want to go be seen? Um, or the thing that you want to send me an email and set up a video conference um, so that we can look at it and see what it is. So when it comes to melanoma, melanoma is a skin cancer. Sorry, my iPad went away here. Um, melanoma is a skin cancer that is the one we talk about, skin cancer that we worry about. We want to be aggressive with, we want to treat uh, quickly because treated early, melanoma has a 95% survival rate. Waiting till later on, uh, not so much. And so we want to make sure we take care of those early. So, um, melanomas, hey Jill, happy birthday, you know all this, but um, for those who didn't get a chance, it was our nurse Jill's birthday yesterday, um, so be sure to wish her happy birthday on whatever post was on here before, um, or you can comment here if you want, but this, I want to talk more about skin cancer. So, when you've got a mole, um, we say ABC to figure out what moles were, are highly suspicious. Um, and it's really A, B, C, D, E, so it's not going to go all the way through the alphabet, but A is asymmetry. If you've got a mole that's round, regular, pretty symmetric in appearance, that's less troubling than something that you look at and go, this side looks different from that one, it's got a lot of irregularity to it. Those are things you want to have your primary care physician, dermatologist, plastic surgeon take a look at. Border. Uh, border irregularity. Um, something that you can see pretty distinctly here's skin, here's mole, and you can sort of see a crisp line between them, uh, that's less troubling, something that you look at and you can't really tell where the skin starts and this mole stops, that's something that you want to get checked out. C is color. Not necessarily brown. Uh, if you've got a lot of variety in color, weird color, blacks, blues, uh, those are things to have checked. D is diameter. So Seven millimeters is about the size of a pencil eraser. If it's wider than a pencil eraser, it's probably something you want to have checked out. Um, but there certainly are a lot of lesions that can get big, and we know they're benign. Um, and E is evolution or elevation. So if you've got a lesion, say I got pictures on here, that's why I keep going to my iPad. I know these, I promise. Um, if you've got a lesion that evolves, changes, suddenly becomes raised up, those are things to get checked out. So. These are simple Google search, right? So here we've searched melanoma. And if we're going to look at this here, I don't know if these are truly our melanomas or not, uh, but you can see that the border there, the shape of itself is pretty irregular. Um, that's something you'd want to have checked out. It says early stage melanoma. Uh, this one over here, again, pretty irregular. Got a lot of variety of color, the border. So, although the border is relatively crisp, you can see some areas where it seems to be um, fading into the skin. Um, 
but a lot of variety, a lot of asymmetry. You know, this one here. You know, this is your color. That's a deep black, but again, it looks pretty round. It looks pretty symmetric. It's a little bit elevated, um, but the borders um, pretty crisp, and the shape is pretty round. But that intense black, those are things there. Um, so my apologies from whatever copyright, like literally this is, I searched Google, pulled the images up here so you can find these pictures. Uh, I'm not trying to re reproduce them, um, but you know, that one's from Mayo Clinic. Um, so I guess I should give everybody credit where credit is due. From Mayo Clinic, verywellhealth.com. These are their pictures, again, publicly available. Those are ones you see things like this, call, get it checked out. If you want to click a, take a picture of it on your smartphone, email it to me at Dr. At Ohio Plastic as part of our online consult. We can do that too. Don't just start sending me pictures of everything, but if we set up a consult, I'll have you send those pictures in. And see. So it is important as we're home and not going to the doctor, not going to get checked out, hopefully being getting a chance to go spend some more time outside, make sure you're using your sunscreen. Your UV protection, these are things the most important thing is going to help protect you. This is the Skin Better Stick, Color, color Science Brush. I've got those here in the office. I'll send them to you, no shipping charges, anything else. Um, second type of skin cancer, uh, these are like skincancer.org, Archie Medicine, some of these pictures here, again, to give credit where credit is due. These are those sort of round, pearly looking things. That's a pretty classic look. So squamous cells are still, still skin cancers, but I tell people they really are things t people typically will die with, not from. They're typically, you get them old, later in life, you see them when we're older. Although any sun exposed areas, I've had patients in their 30s and 40s get these types of skin cancers as well, so they are important to take care of. Left alone long enough, they can do the bad things that cancers do. They can spread, cause local invasion, local problems. Um, but for the most part, they're really slow growing. If you had something like that now, you know, if you want to get it out, you can. Um, certainly the things, if we had a known diagnosis of a basal cell or a squamous cell, we're going to bring you to the office and take care of that even during this time that the office is closed down. Um, but if you had to wait on it, um, I'm not, you know, it's not the end of the world. It's certainly something you want to take care of sooner rather than later, but it's not as urgent as when we talk about uh, a melanoma. Those pearly red raised irritating lesions, they tend to cause more local symptoms, itching, bleeding, scabbing. Um, again, you can show your primary care physician, you come show me or a dermatologist, but it's the good idea to talk about, especially now that we, you know, everyone has a chance to be at home and hopefully focus on some of those other things in terms of our health. Um, I keep seeing lots of jokes about um, how much weight everyone's going to put on and how everyone's going to need to come in for liposuction after COVID-19 and the quarantines go away. Um, if that's the case, we're here. Weight liposuction obviously is not a weight loss tool, but a lot of people I know are becoming healthier, getting into those good habits, saying, okay, I've got some time. I'm going to spend 30 minutes two, three times a week or more exercising. Um, get outside, be active. I mean, I think that our quarantine really has led to a lot of bike rides. I think, um, and bike rides keep everybody active. Um, so taking good care of your body by, you know, by um, exercising. We're cooking a lot more at home, so you'll find there's probably a lot, a lot of people are eating a little bit healthier as well. Um, the third thing to get into is taking care of your skin. Um, and that involves using good skin care, um, things like Skin Better, um, to take care of yourself and good UV protection. But towards that as well, Taking, you know, becoming more aware of your skin, doing a self mole assessment. Everyone knows about self breast exam. Most men should know about self testicular exam. Um, but self skin exam is something I think we, we don't do as much of as we should. Once a month, just look and see has this changed? Does it look significantly different? Don't look every day because it's hard to see change day by day. Um, but if we do a good job of looking at our skin and saying, hey, this is here, this looks a little funny, this looks a little different, um, and watch it. And the following month, if something else is there, same thing. So this is the good part about uh, the quarantine is it gives us a chance to um, take good care of ourselves. So 
Everybody, please take good care of yourself. Take good care of each other. If there's something you have, if you see a spot or a lesion that looks suspicious, send me an email. We can set up a virtual consult um, to do either uh, looking through the um, we're using a program called Doxy.me, um, which is HIPAA compliant, uh, to be able to look real time at what something looks like, or you take a picture and send it as part of that consult, and we look and we do assessment and say, oh, you know what, let's plan to take that off when things get back to normal, let's watch it and see what it does, and you know, if it changes, we'll see things down the road, or that looks suspicious, you know. I've always been of the mindset that I would much rather take off a hundred benign moles than leave one on that's, suspe that, that's suspicious. Um, so the fact if I look at something and go, yeah, I think we should take it off, we can do that. We're, we're bringing patients in when we're in the office one at a time um, for skin cancer procedures or post-ops. So we can take care of you. So everyone, stay well, stay healthy, look at your skin, take good care of your skin, take good care of yourselves and uh, we remain here for you. If there's anything else you need, uh, send an email, post a comment, we'll take care of those. Everyone be well. Uh, Joe, if you're still on, happy birthday again. Uh, everyone have a good day.